All right, lighter mood. Shall we play some Dave the Diver? Dave the Diver <laughs> on a slightly lighter note than South Scrimshaw. Someone's been trying to convince me to play this game for a while. Okay, bro, take the dogs away. Who let the dogs out? My god. This is an insane mood shift. Yeah, I am getting whiplash a little bit going from South Scrimshaw to this. I should probably read it out loud rather than just reading it to myself, huh? Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes. Yellow tang. Cute. That's a real fish. Okay, so it's real fish. This is not speculative evolution. Whoa. Cute fish. Dive knife. Wait, I have to kill the fish? They're too fast. Oh. Harpoon. Aim. Well, I suck. Wait, I don't want to kill the blue tangs. What fish don't I care about? Yellow tangs. Wow, I am really bad at this. Give me that sardine. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Fishing is about patience. Okay, it's kind of sick. The music is a little loud. God damn. Quick scope. It actually controlled really well. That was fun. They should make that into a mobile game. Hoping a sushi restaurant. So is the entire purpose of the game, we just have to collect a bunch of cool fish to make sushi? Best quality ingredients. Alright, yes sir. The diving part is really fun. I don't really care about the dialogue at all, but... Can I catch more than seven fish? I just want to swim around for a while and catch fish. Homer. I've never heard of this fish, but it's probably a real fish. If they had yellow and blue tangs, I don't know why they would make up Comer. Maybe it's a mixture of speculative evolution and real. Dun, 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 dun. I don't have very much oxygen. Quick scope. Wait, how do I use the harpoon? Oh, got it. Can I go lower? How low do I have to go to find something new? Ooh, people are gonna love trigger fish. Did I not catch it? Wait, how do I reel it in? Get back here. Why are the fish swimming off like I didn't just harpoon them? Oh, I have to mash spacebar. Jesus. Comer exists? That's what I figured. What? I just mashed spacebar so hard. That's easy enough. That <laughs> mashing sounds personal. Hey, I wanted the fish, man. Leave me alone. Pink fish. Perfect. Oh wait, I need seven. I thought I only needed three. Give me a comer. I want to see it. Ooh, angelfish. Okay. Understood. What? Shit.
Come on. Okay, I'll go for another pink fish. Just something swim in the way. Oh, the trigger fish are coming. Is this a cheat code for my oxygen? Oh no, my oxygen still is going down. Get. I have no idea how the mashing works. Some underwater spelunking. I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of oxygen. <gasps> Lionfish. I missed! Get over here. Running out of air. Yeah, but I want the fish. I want this one. I can get air on the way up. Give me the fish. God damn it. Ooh, what's this? Escape pod. Treasure. Oxygen. Hey, how do I use that? Oh, there we go. Oh, so I can just go infinitely then. Wood. You're giving me anxiety? Sorry. I'm exploring. Hey, these lionfish are following me. Critical depth? What does that mean? I don't dive, I only free dive. <gasps> okay, people are gonna love squid. Hey, hey, where was my oxygen going? <laughs> okay. Guess I was not allowed to go that low. I only get to keep one item? Oh, that's right, I had an escape pod. I could have. Ah, who cares? There you go. Take the lionfish. Alright, I gotta go catch more fish. See you later. Alright, chat, since this game is on the slower side, I'll do a QA. Give me any questions you have that I will answer as we uh, catch fish and vibe. Who was pee poo? Uh, that is just an incomprehensible question. Wow, I just missed totally. Wait, what? Oh, am I meant to... Okay. Okay. Jellyfish. Wood. How often do you fall over while fishing? I lose my balance pretty often. I wouldn't say I fall over a lot though. Like I do a lot of like tripping, sliding, but like actually falling into the water straight up. I have not done that. Hammer. Does this work? <laughs> okay, that's kind of annoying. How many times have you had to kill? What the hell? Wait, I didn't want to use the escape pod. God damn it. Uh, how many times have you had to kill fish over the course of your career? Had to? Very few. Only for like specimen preservation and such is the only time that I've ever really had to kill fish in my career. Now it does happen, especially like with electro fishing and all that, because our equipment is tuned to knock out trout and such without hurting them. But the, the calibrations that cause you to knock out trout will just fry minnows totally. How often do you check Discord? Probably more than I should. Do you like slash eat sushi? I, um, I'm vegetarian, but the vegetarian sushi that I've had was very good. Why the UPS hat? Because it's funny. <laughs> oh, UFO jellyfish. All right. Have you gone spelunking in real life and would you like to? There was a time where I started like saving caves nearby me on my Google Maps with the full intention. Hey, look at this little cute guy. But I wanted to eat him. I understand what meat eaters feel like. Um, with the intention of going to those caves and, you know, doing a little bit of spunkling. But New Jersey doesn't have great cave systems, so. I'd probably be much more on the chill side than normal spelunking. Get the fuck back here. What do you like to do in your free time? Um, think of any hobby that anyone you know has ever had that has probably been a hobby that I have done in my free time. Damn it. Urchin! <gasps> Wait, I want this. Shrimp. Bitches love shrimp. Hey, give me the shrimp. 
Oh. Oh, I can't eat the shrimp. Why would you make something that I can't interact with? How? Have you been eaten by a fish before? I have had my finger go in a fish's mouth. Does that count? Strangest thing I've heard or seen while fishing? Well, at one point it was... I would always hear these like... I don't know if you guys can probably hear it, but these like whooshing grunts at nighttime while fishing, you know, like middle of nowhere in a stream, I would hear these grunts. I heard them at multiple streams. And I finally asked someone who sort of like knew wildlife pretty well, found out it's what deer sound like. Deer do that like weird grunt in the middle of the night. But for a while I was like terrified because I would hear these grunts in the streams and it like sounds like you're getting stalked while you're at nighttime in the streams. Um, I found baby dolls with their heads ripped off in streams before. I've seen a lot of, like, people interacting with streams in weird ways. Like, people who had outflows from their house to, like, septic system that went directly into a stream. There was a dude near me who was dumping all of his cat litter and lawn clippings just into a pile in the stream. Favorite meal? I go back and forth between tofu fried rice from this place that I like in my hometown to... Um, the bihun that I used to have for breakfast in Malaysia. Problem is I haven't had the bihun because I haven't been in Malaysia since January. Make a hundred gold. Yeah, so I don't know. I haven't been fully decided on that one. Stupidest species ever caught slash discovered? Of anything? There's some real dumb species. Have you guys heard of sprigs? Sprigs are this like barely macroscopic bug. Read the Wikipedia article on how sprigs fly. It makes zero sense. You know how most things have like wings and they flap them or they glide? Sprigs have like a sideways wing that propels. It's super weird. The only reason they can fly is because they're tiny. Like if you put their wings on a larger insect, they wouldn't be able to fly. Oh great, now I'm playing freaking Cooking Mama or whatever that game is. A fish species you would love to catch? There's a lot of shiners that would be awesome to catch. But if it has to pick a species I'd love to catch, then I would pick a species that they think is extinct. Like the Scioto Mad Tom. Catching the Scioto Mad Tom would be dope, because everyone thinks it's extinct. Only the food on the menu can be sold. If you're not ingredients, you have to replace items on the menu. This is confusing. Green tea. Or the right amount. Oh, uh... What do you mean perfect? I went way over the line. Customers who drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. Oh, is that because I gave them a little extra? So this is a restaurant simulator at nighttime and a fishing simulator during the day? Thoughts on Salmonids? They're fine. I think it's kind of lame when a country's only fish. Like, Iceland's only freshwater fish that are native are Salmonids. Yeah, b baby dolls are common in streams. Uh, at my job, we, you know, do a lot of work in streams, and there we have a collection of baby dolls that people have found in streams. And whenever someone finds a new baby doll, they bring it back to the office. And so we have a pile of, like, 15 variously decayed baby dolls. Yeah, I've seen shopping carts and bikes and some pretty bad ones. I saw a whole bathtub in one of the creeks I was at recently. There's stickleback species native to Iceland? Yeah, but they're not full freshwater. There's just, I think there's a native trout to Iceland and that's like basically it that's full freshwater. Or like the salmon that come in. Bro, I'm so bad at these cooking simulators. I am not good at multitasking. Oh my god, why are three people asking me for orders at once? Green tea, I can do that. Here, take some green tea. Here you go. Have a... Okay, sure. Jesus, give me... Uh, you want that one, right? Here you go. Okay, great. Uh, I probably shouldn't have served it to that person first. This person's been waiting longer. This is so stressful. This gives me anxiety. Would you get isopods or springtails? Springtails are pretty cool. How do you come across springtails? I've only taken a picture of like one or two springtails in my life. Oh wait, I can run. I just have a stamina bar. I think she was here first. I don't really remember. 
There are no more items on the menu. What does that mean? Menu. One menu. Add ingredients. Add menu. Okay. Add menu. Um, okay. Add a bunch of seaweed, man. I don't know. Mediterranean par. Enhance. How does any of this work? What did I just click? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, cool. Anyways, I can put that on the menu. Any advice on jobs, internships in the fisheries field? Um, if you're not part of AFS, you should be. Your, most colleges will have an AFS program, but at the very least, AFS should have like a, a section in your area. If you're in the United States, that is. Otherwise, I'm sure there's an equivalent organization. Um, but they have like big job posting sites that you can go to at any time. Is coelacanth still your favorite fish? No, it's not even close. Since I've begun to work with local freshwater fish more, I do not even care very much about coelacanth. I mean, no, listen, I still like coelacanth. I still think they're super cool, and it would still be a dream to see one one day. But now that I've like worked with freshwater fish so much, I care a lot more about like my local native fish, and most of my favorite fish are now local native fish. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, the kraken. Makes sense. Okay, bye. Favorite species of weevil? I think rhubarb weevil, but that's not true. It's probably one of the acorn weevils. They're just so hard to differentiate between species. Fave species of isopod? I The only species of isopod I know are striped woodlouse, common woodlouse, and I guess the giant isopod, assuming that's one species, which I'm not sure that it is. What's this? Ow. Is that a pufferfish? Ah, <gasps> pufferfish. Ow. I can deal with it, game. Okay, I can't deal with it. That pufferfish was fucking invincible. Why do I suck at dip netting? Have you watched my tutorial and genuinely practiced a bunch of times? Best areas to find species of weevils? Weevils are everywhere. Finding them is a matter of finding them, not a matter of being in the wrong place. Um, the best thing you can do is lay out a white sheet on the ground underneath like a tree or large bush and then just take a baseball bat, I'm not kidding, and just beat the shit out of the tree or bush. The white thing is called a beat sheet and all of the bugs will fall down onto it and you can quickly look through and see the contrast of all the cool bugs on the white sheet. So take an old white sheet that like your parents don't want anymore, find a stick and just beat up a few bushes. Um, you'll probably find some ticks if you're in the United States, but you'll definitely find some weevils and stuff too. When's the return of Weevil World? I have not even started filming the next Weevil World video. I have not had much time. I haven't really come across many Weevils. We'll have to see. If I start coming across stuff, I mean, that's when I get footage. Yo, mom, let me borrow your bed sheets real quick. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. My grandmother had old bed sheets that she didn't want anymore, so I turned them into a beat sheet. <laughs> All right. That game is fun. That's more of like a casual, I would say, like a, if I was interested in an off-stream game. I don't know that that would be a game I would play on-stream because it's a little on the slower Whoa. side. 